and it is nasty. Um, to give our listeners sort of a sense of, of the history and scale of this, because it's, you know, denial of service attack or something I have a, a great deal of prior interest and experience with. The, the original attacks were the so-called SYN flood, S-Y-N, short for synchronize, is the name of the packet which is first sent when a client wants to connect to a server. And if you don't use the operating system's regular TCP connection mechanism, but if you actually generate these SYN packets yourself using a technology known as raw sockets, then you can send the SYN packets off to a server at basically whatever your line rate is, as fast as your bandwidth will allow, because the packets are very small. So you can get many of them in a short period of time. And what happens is the receiving server tries to initiate connections, assuming that all of those packets are valid. It sends, it, 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 it creates some state on the server in the server's TCP IP stack to say, oh, somebody wants to connect to me. And so it allocates memory and it kind of gets ready for connection and it eventually sends a, an acknowledgement, a SYNAC back, which is its own synchronize with an acknowledgement of this SYN that it received. And what happened in the early days is that without too many SYNs coming in, you just, just these fake packets, you would collapse the server. It would be unable to establish all of these pending connections and just crashed. So, you know, and sometimes very embarrassingly, sometimes it just kind of went offline and stopped being able to accept any more. And, and, and that caused a denial of service of that service that was being offered. So then hackers got a little more clever. They used what's called a reflection attack they would send a SYN packet to somebody, to some other server and th with a spoofed source IP. That is, they would, they would change where the packet, the SYN packet appeared to originate. So it would go to that server and that server would, would acknowledge the victim so it would send a, that SYNAC, that second packet, that answering packet, would not come back to the sender, the, the true sender. It would go to the target. And the, the reason that was clever is that when, this, when the server that was thought it was answering an initiation of, of connection didn't get an answer back, it would send it again and again and again typically at least four times. Mm. So this was a bandwidth amplification attack. Right. You, you send a small one small SYN packet with a bogus originating IP, source IP, to a legitimate server, and it would send four acknowledgments before it would give up. So that amplified the attack strength by a factor of four. Next, we went to a so-called DNS reflection attack, which has been very problematical in the past. The idea with DNS is you could, a very small query can generate a very large reply. And the two attacks we've talked about first were TCP attacks. DNS, as we know, uses UDP. The, 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 da the datagram protocol instead of a, a, a connection. So you send a, a UDP DNS packet at a DNS server with, again, a spoofed source IP, and it sends a big response to the, it thinks, answering the query, but, but you've, you've placed the target's IP as your source IP, so the, the DNS server sends much more data back to the, the victim server. Again, a, a, a substantial bandwidth amplification attack. 
So now we have a new protocol in the game. It's, it uses the network time protocol, NTP, and it is also a reflection attack. NTP uses, goes over port 123. And, you know, it's built into Windows. It's all of the star Nix OSs have it. Um, interestingly, it uses a 32-bit, um, is it 32 bits? I think, yeah, thir- thir- a 32-bit time. I'm, for some reason, I'm sure there's also a 64-bit component. Anyways, the point is that something is going to wrap with, with network time protocol in 2038, and even though the Y2K problem with, you know, the year going from 1999 wrapping around to, z- to zero um, didn't cause a huge problem, if there's any old equipment still that is still using the original 32-bit NTP, we're in trouble because in sometime in the year 2038, that, that, that 32 bits wraps around to zero. So, and that may be the meet, the most significant 32 bits of the time protocol. I haven't looked at it for a long time. Anyway, so there, the internet is covered with network time protocol servers. They're everywhere. It turns out there is a command which has actually not been supported in the NTP software since around March of 2010. Two years, well, now what? Four years ago. Yeah, update myself. Four years ago, nearly, the, it was understood that the so-called mon list command was a bad thing to have. It was subject to abuse. What can happen is a 234-byte packet, so 234 bytes in a UDP packet, can contain the so-called get mon list command. You, an attacker sends that to any identified network time protocol server on the internet with a spoofed source IP, again, with the IP set to the victim of this attack. The get mon list command will return the IP addresses of the most recent other network time protocol servers that, ha- that it has had access to, up to 600 of them. Now, six IP addresses fit in a packet. So that's 100 packets. So first of all, we have a packet rate amplification one to a hundred, it the you you the the attacker sends out one packet to an NTP server and it generates a hundred packets in return, but it's also a bandwidth amplification attack because they're maximum size packets, and in fact this two hundred and thirty four byte small packet requesting a network time protocol server to to list the 600 most recent other servers it's had had contact with can result in over a 48k reply it's a 206 times amplification and unfortunately there are the internet is full of big iron network time protocol servers many many big routers on the internet have just offer NTP as a public as a public service so they are very well connected and have very high bandwidth connections as a consequence of this what we are beginning to see now is 100 gigabit DDoS attacks and the and the key is since you we're getting